Caddis Maximus here. I'm kind of doing a series here on power conditioning equipment and so my first video was the APC Line R 600 and it was an older vintage unit and I looked inside it. It was kind of, it was a longer video so this is going to be a shorter video Whoop. about the Line R 1200. This is also a much newer unit and it's made in the Philippines, not made in America anymore. And so the, this is just to kind of review this unit as well as compare it to the way the older units were built. And obviously this has a plastic case. The receptacles are integrated so you can't upgrade them like you could on that older APC where it just uses use standard household receptacles. But this is a more powerful unit. This is a voltage, a line voltage stabilizer as well as a power conditioner. So the power conditioning aspect is just like a heavy duty or a nice quality uh, noise filter surge suppressor with heavy duty in, uh, inductors and capacitors with some MOV style surge protection and then a special what's known as an auto transformer with multiple taps so when you have the line voltage say you have a brownout or a, a big motor turns on the voltage drops down there's electronics and a set of relays that will switch different windings on the internal transformer and provide boosts these are the best thing that you can get next to an uninterruptible power supply and say if your voltage drops uh, by 10 or 20 volts this can provide a couple of steps upwards and downwards now the older units had three lights on them so each time we would do the two steps of a voltage boost or two steps of a voltage buck it would give you uh, indications whether it's on level one or level two you know buck or boost this only has even though it has two levels of uh, increase and decrease it only has one LED it also is a little bit more modern when it turns on. It has like a self-test function. We'll turn off the light so you can see. But when you turn it on, the, it does this self-test for a few seconds and then actually enables or activates. It, it does have a circuit breaker and it is a little more modern there where the, the power switch is also a circuit breaker itself. So you would it would pop in the halfway position you have to rock it off and then back on again but that is a nice feature one other nice feature that of the more modern unit is it has this switch to be able to set essentially the base voltage i believe this switches different input windings on that auto transformer 110 120 or 127 volts so lower voltage or higher voltage that way it ends up working a little bit better or if you're in an area which has uh, pretty you know high or lower voltages you can kind of set this to run at a nice happy middle ground rather than always being active in a boost or a buck situation as soon as you plug it in and so it's kind of nice to be able to set it for that and yes if you have a big voltage drop how does this continue to deliver the same amount of power uh, or voltage is that it draws more amps and when you have too high a voltage it draws less than a proportional amount of amps according to Ohm's law now, of course, the issue with these is that they do it in 10 volt increments. So if this is set for 120, once the input goes below 110, it'll enable one winding and that will jump it back up to 120 again. If you look at my APC Line R600, I do a demonstration and with the multimeter hooked up showing how these generally work. So this was just an additional review, just to review the more modern uh, 1200 watt version. So it's kind of two birds and one stone, the newer unit as well as being the higher output unit. Let me go ahead and pause this and uh, we'll take a look inside to compare about internal build quality compared to that older one. Here we have it open and this is traditional of newer items and people will notice this too. Is It's a lot less serviceable because a lot of the wires are connect permanently connected to the power switch. We can see in the back there the low quality plugs. They're just sheet metal that are in a plastic overmold, no, not actual receptacles, so they're not as high quality. We can see that uh, even though it has a fair amount of surge protection, if I can get some good light in there, there we go. You can see all those blue circuits down, right down in here. If we can get, there we go. There's a fair amount of surge protection, but it's those are the MOVs, the metal oxide varistors, and those aren't, they don't seem quite as big, quite as much energy. We can see that this part of the update is it has four relays in there. So one's a cutoff relay, and then one is to switch to whether boot or bust boost mode, and then two additional relays to do each of the two steps. We have a nice capacitor. There isn't a lot of noise filtering. The noise filtering stage is nowhere near as nice as it was on the older unit. I think they're relying more heavily on just some of the filtering that the auto transformer does because it acts more like a 
uh, or kind of like an inductor. But generally speaking, you know, they added uh, a bit, a few more features um, with this cutoff mode. I assume if it gets way out of range, like if the input voltage drops to 70, that it'll turn off. So they're a little bit more modern. Uh, this, I guess, operates a little bit more intelligently and has more features. But it, the physical build quality and I'm sure the noise filtering capability. There we go. There's that back part. It finally... I didn't realize it released. There's a nice look at this part. I didn't realize that it was caught on there. But there's a better look at the internal. So we have a much more complicated circuit board. There's several integrated circuits. Uh, this unit says it's from 2003. So um, it has better you know, technology and electronics at the sacrifice of a bunch of build quality. And not as good a noise filtering capability, which is always kind of disappointing. So that's kind of why I wanted to show in this review and show uh, what's inside because it's always kind of neat to see uh, what is inside some of these units and to compare them to say, gosh, you know, if I can find an older unit on eBay, if I'm buying one of these used, then I'll try to do that. And here's another indication where, you know, I don't really like it when they do that. But if we look real close, we can see that the little bent pieces of sheet metal, let me make sure that we are unplugged from our main power since I'm inside this and yes indeed we are but we can see that there's the little sheet metal terminals here for another receptacle but it's blank so this is like a universal bent piece of strip and it's always kind of cheesy to see that wait a minute there could have been five receptacles in here and they already put in the 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 pieces of sheet metal that would accept it but they just didn't put holes in the plastic. It just doesn't make any sense when companies do that. Anyway, I'll go and end this review here. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.